Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a video review of the new Brick Coaster Lego part that goes on the bottom of your Brick Coaster roller coaster so your coaster can be pulled up the slopes of your roller coaster. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily Lego videos. BrickCoaster.com is the place to get your Lego roller coaster and your Lego roller coaster parts. I'm not yet sure if this piece is on the website, but head on over to BrickCoaster.com anyways. So here's what like the whole setup looks like, but right now we're just going to take a look at the bottom brick. So here's what the plate looks like. As you can see, it is this 100% transparent, like you barely notice it here. This is a prototype model and the actual official version that is like in production now will be completely black, but still will be very nice to have on your roller coaster part. This part does replace the 2x4 plate you normally would find on the bottom of the brick coasters. It does look quite a lot like a Lego plate, except there are like these little end pieces here just to have it flow a lot better down the track. And well, the bottom here, the plate is modified with these little teeth, and they're actually quite sharp when you run your finger over it. What these teeth do is they are the hook on to the black chains, so you can pull your roller coaster up. There is no Lego logo on this, and I'm not sure what the final piece would look like, but I imagine it's going to be pretty similar to this. It fits on the roller coaster very nice and firmly, not too much, not too little, and it's very high quality, I find, considering it's not even an official Lego piece, like they did a good job, it doesn't fall off or stick on too much, like the Lego knockoffs I made a video on there, how bad they were. When you set the coaster down, you don't even notice that this plate is on the bottom. It's a very well concealed plate. So as you can see, here's the little contraption that I have made. It's a lot smaller than the roller coaster I have in my city right now, but that's because I was really limited to how many of these black pieces, like these little chain links that I had. So what I've done here is just created this little mock-up of the roller coaster. As you can see, it comes around the corner, goes up the loop, and then right back down. If you weren't sure what I meant by earlier in the video when I said the chain links, here's what I meant. These little black chain links, and I have, a, I think there's probably a hundred here just doing this little bit, so you need quite a lot to do the height of the roller coaster I have in my city, but I do hope someday to get that, like a lot of these chain links, as well as to motorize them, because that would be very cool. Over here, here's the little mechanism that I have built to, you know, pull the roller coaster up. To make it work it is so simple, all you need to do is to turn the axle piece, the gear moves and it pulls the chain links with them. As you can see they continue to move throughout the whole roller coaster to pull up the roller coaster. So when the roller coaster comes around the turn and it interacts with the black chains. As you can see, it is right on there now. I move it back, it moves the chain, I move it forward, it moves the chain. What you do is you start turning the axle and up goes the roller coaster. Thanks everybody so much for watching the review of this little plate from Brick Coaster. Now you've seen the cool features and how it works and how it definitely improves the quality of your roller coaster and adds a lot to your city. Thanks everybody for watching and I recommend checking out BrickCoaster.com if you're interested in purchasing a Lego roller coaster or if you already have a roller coaster and want to purchase one of these plates. Thanks everybody so much for watching, have a great day and I really hope you enjoyed.